This channel is for adults and not for kids. Hey guys, thanks for stopping back by. Um, today I wanted to show you guys all of the bad guys from the Giver. So I have another video uploaded on my channel called Giver Collectibles number one. So this will be Giver Collectibles number two. And we're gonna take a look at all the Zoonoids, the bad guy monsters that the Giver fights. Um, this is going to be a combination of vinyl model kits and action figures. Um, okay, this is my second time filming this. The camera screwed up the first time. This is Zextol. He is a general um, in the army of the bad guys. He's in charge of the hyperzoonoids. So these zoonoids are monsters that are stronger than humans, but the hyperzoonoids are even stronger than the normal zoonoids. So he's got like this really cool, um, like a Japanese stag beetle or a rhinoceros beetle, something like that. These two in the back are action figures. This is one of the vinyl model kits that you put together. These vinyl model kits are outlasting the action figures. You can set them down, you can, you can, you know, move them. He's not falling apart. These action figure ones, um, I'm not, I'm not kidding. I had to glue this guy's head on an hour ago. Um, it just like, the joints just disintegrated in the box. Um, these figures were very expensive when they came out, and now they're just crazy astronomical to try and collect these. Um, if I didn't own them already, there's no way I would go after them now. Um, they're way too expensive, and their quality is not that great. Um, Max Factory, you know, owns the rights to Giver, to everything that comes out merchandise-wise for Giver comes from Max Factory. Max Factory owns Figma. And, you know, nowadays Figma action figures are really nice quality. Unfortunately, I think they, that they were cutting their teeth on these. This was their learning process as for making action figures. And although they look amazing, his little bug face. Their joints are really loose and it's kind of kind of afraid to handle these. Um, little head goes back. Shows off this little laser. thing that I like about see how loose their joints are like it's a bitch to get these guys to stand you have to monkey with them for forever to get them just to stand up the thing that I like about the Giver is it's like if Giger went to Japan and, <laughs> and did anime like um They're all biomechanical. They're living things, but they've got lasers and acids and, and all kinds of stuff in their, with their bodies, weapons. Um, I love that about the Giver. Uh, he's just like this biomechanical, really cool, like insect almost, insect-like uh, living symbiotic armor that bonds with Sho Fukumachi. And all the bad guys that he fights, all these zoonoids are just so cool. The designs, some of the coolest looking monsters. I wish that 
they would revisit these. They probably won't though. Um, I don't know. The reason why I've got so many of these things is because Giver doesn't get that much love. Um, when you and when you see something of the Giver, I tend to snatch it up because it's not like Gundam or um, you know any of the popular anime right now. It, it's not like a great big hit where they just keep pumping out merchandise year after year after year. Giver stuff is kind of few and far between when it gets some love sent its way. So when it does, I try to snatch it up. So this is Zex Toll. Here is another form of Zex Toll. This is like a powered up version of him. Same little buggy face, but his horns are now different. Still got the laser. Same great taste with half the calories. Um, he's got this little. Oh, come on, goddammit. I was playing with this thing right before I started filming. There we go. He's got this laser in his chest. And this figure came out after those ones, and it its joints aren't as loose. I feel like they were on some sort of weird learning curve making these action figures. And he is constructed better than those guys in the back. But this simple vinyl model kit is going to outlast all of them. Just because it doesn't have any, like, you know, mechanical, you know, no joints. It's just, uh, you know, a simple vinyl kit. But he's probably going to have the last laugh and outlast all of them. This is, you guys are going to have to forgive me with some of the names. This is uh, Aptom something. And that Aptom character had the ability to sort of mimic or to mimic other create creatures to take on their uh, powers and abilities. Um, kind of like Rogue in the X-Men. Um, so here's the vinyl model kit of him. And as you can see, he's got a very beetle-ish face like Zex Toll. So he... Um, It looks like in this form, because he keeps changing form in the cartoon, it looks like here he took on the abilities of uh, Zextol and this electric eel guy. I forget his name. It's something, it might be Elegan or Elegen, something like that. But he's got these um, tentacles that hang down from his back. And he electrocutes people with those. And if you look at this Aptom, these t this one and, and this one are both the same action figure. Um, if you look at this one, He's got, he's got the little electric eel tentacles hanging down from his back. So this character could not only mimic the characteristics and the looks of other monsters, but he could combine them. So it's like he's a hybrid between Zextol and that electric eel guy, which is very cool.
Such neat looking monster designs. Okay. These are little vinyl action figures that came in two packs. You would get a blister card and there would be two of them in each package. This little neat looking guy, he looks kind of like a, a bat. With these organic shoulder cannons. It's crazy. These little tentacles. I do not know his name. Sebastian, I believe. <laughs> um, this guy, this is Francis. He's very cool. He's like this little goblin looking guy, little gremlin monster. You know, sometimes um, YouTube viewers don't understand my sense of humor. Um, like obviously this fucker's name is not Sebastian, but I'll say, and this one's Sebastian, and I'll laugh and I'll think it's funny as fuck, but <laughs> I have gotten YouTube comments where people are like, Actually, it's not Sebastian. That's uh, Ramages, the fifth incarnation. And uh, it's like the joke just goes right over their fucking head. Okay, this monster, this is super cool. This guy looks like a Japanese Oni, like a, a Japanese demon. Um, in the beginning of the Giver um, cartoon, there's a dude that escapes from the Kronos laboratory and he sets the entire story in motion. And that's this guy. He wasn't quite done cooking in the uh, soup, in the uh, monster tanks. But we're changing him into this creature. But uh, he's very cool. This is the first monster you know you see in the in the show. This rhino guy is cool. He's a hyperzoanoid underneath the command of Zextol. Looks like a big armored rhino. His face looks like a, a devil man bad guy. Looks like a big rhino. This guy's cool. These monsters, these zoonoids are, these are just vinyl figures. So they're, they're more akin to the vinyl kits and they will for sure outlast the, uh, the ones with, you know, movable joints that can weaken over time. This big lobster guy is cool. He's got that two tongues. Those three little, these three little uh, appendages on his face shoot out acid. This one's name, I do know. This is Thancrus, and he is very cool looking. He's, um, he's got these cool uh, blades for hands. These, like, vibrating energy blades. And he's got a, kind of 
kind of a little bird face. It's his little, uh, little red eyes. And his, let's see if I can, he's got like a little red tongue. Um, this one that I'm holding, this came in one of those two packs that I was telling you about, those little Zonoid Kaiju two packs. And this one in the back is um, the vinyl model kit that I put together. He is a wild design. I like that one. Okay, these monkey guys. These are like a low man on the totem pole. For the Zonoids. These little monkey dudes are uh, Ramaji and that's one of the one of the boxes. Like, okay, this one is a pre-painted one that came in one of those two packs. They're like gor gorillas mixed with bats is how they look. Sort of a an ape-like body, but with a bat-like face and bat-like ears. Very cool. This one was pre-painted and came in one of those two packs. And this one is one of the vinyl models that I put together and painted. And I have a few of him. This is one of the boxes of, uh, of the vinyl models. Whoops, shit. That, pi that picture is so cool. I believe Prime One Studios. What's the matter, Thor? I believe Prime One Studios made a, a statue of this image. Uh, the guy standing over the body of a Ramaji that he sliced open. That's one of the boxes. This is Enzyme. And on top of his head, there's a, there's a piece missing. Um, this was given to me. The, um, one of my friends had a few of these models. I don't know what he did with the, the little top tentacle part of his head, but um, I wasn't gonna turn down a free zoonoid just cause he didn't have the little piece on top. This is like the that's Enzyme. This is like Enzyme 
where he's got like this more insect-like face and these posable spider hands. I think this is Aptom again, and it looks like he is mixing up um, more of the abilities of the other Zonoids. He's got, his head looks like, uh, is it Grigol, I think? And he's got the biological lasers on the shoulders, like this guy. But he's got fur like a Ramoji. This little dude is cool. These biological cannons, they make this juicy sound when they open up in the cartoon and they're all dripping I think that's Grigol um, this guy's neat all those little spikes on his shoulders in the show they shoot off their, those are missiles and he he shoots acid out of these things on his arm little goblin like face sort of already looked at the eel. I think it's Elegan or Elegen. It's like an electric eel dude. And this guy is like the rhino guy. He's like a combination of the rhino And that guy with the shoulder missiles. It's like a lovely mishmash of the two characters. This was another one my friend gave me uh, in the same box. It was this guy, um, that enzyme, and somebody else I forget. Last two. The guy on the left, this big gray sum bitch, he's the main bad guy of the Giver. He's like the uh shit, I forget his name. He's like this <laughs> evil businessman. He's like uh He's in charge of the Kronos company. And then it turns out that he himself is a big zoonoid. He's got this really cool monster face. Big like red jewel in his head. So he's like, he's the big bad guy. And the last one, he he really isn't a bad guy. He becomes friends with the Giver, 
but um, he's not a Giver, so I, I threw him into this video. Because um, the next one I'm going to do is just all Giver. All Giver, all the time. He's got a pretty blue jewel in his head. His body is really cool looking. It's sort of a... Like a mixture of, of the Giver and a Zoonoid. Anyway, guys, that is all of my zoonoids and this guy who kind of looks like a punk rock gremlin. Um, I'm going to put them all back into their bubble wrap and put them all back into the big box. And then we're going to take a look at the Giver. I have like I said another video uploaded to the channel of Giver stuff but I used my old camera and a few people bitched about the quality how it turned out so I'm gonna film Giver stuff again so thanks for stopping back by are you guys fans of the Giver I mean obviously if you're watching this you probably think it's kind of cool The Giver is my favorite anime, and the Giver is my favorite anime character. I love the designs from all the monsters to the Giver himself. I think it's just unlike anything else. All right, guys, thanks for stopping back by, and I will be back shortly. Take it easy.